great. It looks like after that we'll be able to go with a few other units that we must build. Okay, these need to be filled now and this will have a toll on the unit production because we'll have to make them. So just waiting for this cybernetic score. And now we can finally build the robotics facilities. Probably go with five for possibly best results. that um, we can we can have and some more pylons all right so we're warping in immortals Immortals are tough units and um, we are going to focus on them. They are ruthlessly expensive and in here maybe just a couple of zealots. So, so far we are doing alright and another expansion is probably needed there. which we are going to fill in few more pylons will do the trick okay finally build building some good stuff and we need this greatly so that we can continue producing researching our well I haven't noticed how expensive this is this is just crazy expensive I mean literally too much I'm going to allocate the production of probes there to that nexus Sense a few probes there already, and we can build here, fill it up. Okay, you go there, you go there, you go there. Everything is kind of just fine, it seems so far. Okay, and again, we have more money, we're building immortals. Because they should be immortal. So far, playing with the protos, I can say that um, it's just a little maybe too expensive. And I think my approach with uh, only mortals won't work out solely because they are that more expensive. That much more expensive. Okay, as you can see, this Nexus is going down just fine so we'll go with another one okay with about a few immortals I wonder if I would just lose them all quickly or not so quickly 
it's 114 so that's not that much really all right everything seems to be going just fine I just need to produce so basically I'm having I should call it a reasonable income but um, I still don't feel it haven't played this game that long still don't feel that um, I'm having uh, lots and lots and lots of money that I don't know where I can place it you know I'm always feeling that um, I'm suffering from a lack of cash like continuously okay we are building some more stuff and guess what we're being attacked now and um, wow let's see how these immortals are going to do and it looks like their army is retreating it is in fact retreating and we are going to go after them right and we'll see what they are up to it looks like I thought I was running out of cash there but I am I am running out of cash okay let's move and uh, hopefully <clears throat> we're gonna kill them all there so we have a lot of these immortals and um, hopefully we will be able to make a good use of them all. whoa look at that it's going down it's going down our army against theirs and it looks like we are beating them so far we are beating them quite well look at that Look at that. One of the few times where we actually where we actually won something. An engagement here and there, which is incredibly good for us. We need to take out this hatchery as quickly as possible and as many of their uh, workers they're just sending their workers out and we are killing them mercilessly Looks like we got into some defense. But we are gonna stay there by the ramp for a while. Go with these depths. And um, as many of these workers as we possibly can. So, we have 19 and we're gonna go up the ramp and try to deal lots of damage. We're gonna take out a few buildings quickly. Whoa, the mortals do incredible damage actually, but they are incredibly expensive too. Well, look at this hive just taken out so quickly. 
Looks like that's all. Incredibly efficient army, these mortals are. And this is the last hive. That's it. Lots of overlords all over the place. It's unclear where exactly they have been. And let's go to the score screen and uh, see what is this. Okay, let's play again. It looks like I'm playing against another player. And it's a Terran player. On the same map. So let's wait for it. I'm not sure which approach should I choose really. And um, I think I'm gonna go with some stalkers maybe. I'm sure that would be awesome. Okay. <clears throat> now, should they go for the Nexus? I'm not sure. I should probably do that. But I need to build these units continuously too. Probably another pylon would it hurt so that they can start building stuff. And we can build ourselves a gas geyser. A refinery. Okay, we almost have enough money for the Nexus. And we can fill the refinery. Then these 